<laughs> right, right. You got to make some noise and you got to put it out and you got to talk to people. And I appreciate the hustle. I was at a, con a, a conference recently and somebody is, is about to have a book come out. And she had cards ready to go. She was bringing it up in every conversation. To me, that's the hustle I respect, yeah. no, right? I love that. Yeah. Like so. that I love. Like that right there, definitely. Like the way you do it, especially how you carry yourself. And you, the, the, the thing that got me and the thing that I respect so much about you is you have that hustle and that godly ambition with the conviction. Like, it's the, still the conviction. Like, I'm not going to stop talking about justice. I'm not going to stop, stop stop talking about, you know, black history. I'm not going to stop talking about what you just preach, a race, religion, and politics. And, you know, <laughs> it's at Harvard. Now I'm still talking about, it's like, yo, yeah. we got the same, we got the same mode. I'm going to keep the same energy. And I love that. And I think beyond that, bro, like, it really challenges me because when we think about the rooms that people have been in, it may not have been, been a ditty party. Mm. but it can be a green room at a conference. Mm. It may not be the green room at a conference. It could be, man, let's take it down to like your, your neighborhood association. It could be in a room with a city council person. It could be in a room with a county commissioner. It could a be wealthy a certain, donor. A wealthy donor. It could be in a, shoot, it could be in a room with somebody at your church. Yeah. That's got influence and got power that you looked up to that you almost, dare we say, to the point where you start to worship them. Mm -hmm.